Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by the one, the only Luke Campbell. How's it going? It's going great. How are you doing, Casey? Doing good. So uh, let me ask you this. Uh, last time we talked, did we talk before the end of cross-country season or no? We did. We talked um, once before the season started and then um, once after the season started. Yeah. Okay. Now I mean, I- ended. Yes, yes. Okay. So now we have now, of course, uh, talk about, you know, how the off season, you know, really the winter months have been going, you know, in terms of training and all that stuff. Um, where, how has this, uh, the winter training gone for you guys, for, for you personally? Yeah. So I'd say, um, after the fall, it was pretty hard to like kind of bounce back from that, you know, getting second, um, it was heartbreaking, but, um, you know, we, we kind of use that as fuel and, uh, I myself personally, um, you know, more motivated than ever to not only run great, you know, individually, but set up the team for success next year. So I think we've been really trained, um, pretty hard this winter. Um, nothing too crazy, but just putting in consistent work and, um, you know, getting in the workouts, staying consistent. So, yeah. So, um, tell me about like, how you've uh, what are what specifically have you have you worked on this off season? Like, is there an area that you really focused on to to improve and get ready for track season? Um, I would say this season um, that uh, I've like particularly worked on that's a little bit different than normal would be um, like strength. Um, I I wanted to gain a little bit more speed in the eight hundred and be a more diverse guy, not just like a two mile, one mile guy, but be able to have a range and all the events. So strength and also like, um, strengthening my like stabilizers and my legs and my feet, um, um, to hopefully add a little bit more strength just to get a little more push. Um, but of course, you know, running's the, the biggest ingredient to success. Yeah. So, you know, this track season, you know, how different is it from transitioning from cross country to track? Um, there obviously are differences, but there are a lot of similarities. So, so kind of maybe just maybe kind of compare the two and maybe just what is different and what really isn't. Um, I would say what isn't is like what goes in the off season and our mentality towards it. We, um, we may find one more like cross, we we're probably a little more excited for but we still value track a lot. So um, we're definitely still excited about training. So I'd say the training is, you know, we we obviously we're training for shorter events, so that's a little bit different, but um, what, what we're doing as a, as a distance program is, you know, our whole mantra is basically the same. Now it is different having like a whole sprint squad and uh, jumpers and throwers. Um, and we like to welcome on that challenge of, uh, you know, balancing uh, our teammates, you know, all that stuff there too. But. You know, I mean, I mean, the guys are a lot of the same. You may get a few guys from maybe other sports that, you know, you know, the football guys, the soccer guys that didn't get a chance to run cross country. Uh, yeah. Some of those guys are going to be coming over. Um, besides that, it mostly is the same. Elsie's still there. In terms of people, there's really no difference. Yeah. Um, our coaching personnel is uh, pretty pretty similar. Um, coach Bell is still going to be our head coach. Uh, coach Elsie, of course, is going to be our distance coach. And I will have Coach Monroe helping out um, with, you know, the distance guys. Um, um, Grabowski might take a, a step back this year, but um, – our, you know, our coaching personnel is going to be pretty similar. Um, and, uh, you know, we're doing the same old thing with the athletes. Uh, um, sure. A few seniors go, a few other guys have to step up, but, um, we're definitely, uh, you know, good old Brighton, you know, just trying to progress and get a little bit better, you know, good old Brighton. (laughs) So I, I know this is probably, I know you've, you've taught, we talked about this the last two times you were on here. Um, you know, this is, you know, last track season, last sport you'll get coached by, by LC in high school. Have you thought about those things? Oh, every day. Yeah, of course. I think, um, 
I can, I can sit around and get sad about it. I can, you know, I can freak out, but I think my conclusion about, you know, it being my last season is always just make the most of it. Um, train hard, try to, try to be the best runner I can be. Um, and make my, my lasting impacts I can on the team and just enjoy, um, having such a great coach, uh, to be around. Okay. So what events are you planning on doing? So, um, I'm looking right now, hopefully being on our four by eight state team, um, and then being, um, the miler and two miler, um, or a miler and two miler on a team. And hopefully, um, at the top of that list, um, but, uh, yeah, the mile and two mile would be my main, uh, main things. Okay. Is there strategy when it comes to running the four by eight? Um, if you missed it last year, um, you know, um, uh, Brady Matazuski was probably, um, he, um, kind of really explained, you know, different strategies within like, you know, different running events and in, in, in track. Um, so go check out that, that one out if you want, but. Is there is there a strategy to running the four by eight or the four by four, the thirty two, or anything like that? Yeah, I would say there's definitely different strategies. Now, I'm not like a super huge strategy guy. I, I like to go out and race, and every race has different things. But I would say for the eight hundred and the four by eight, it's um, it's about getting out really hard. You want to get out hard, and you don't want to find a way to settle in. But it's like fast, not forced. I mean. You're moving very fast, but you just can't freak out, right? Um, and then kick in everything you got. Now, I'd say 16 and 32 is not much different, except for it's extended over a long period of time. Um, maybe what's different about the 32 is you'll probably have a minus split uh, your last mile on your best races. But um, I would say I'm not the guy to go to for strategy. I'm uh, more of a wing it. Uh, let's see what the race brings me. Um and you know we'll we'll go from there. Guess we'll leave all the strategy talk to Brady. Um, so um, so to kind of like you know sum up your time, I know this is uh, what has this year like your senior year just overall been for you? What been like for you? So uh, you know senior year has been probably the best year of high school, and you know maybe the best year of my life so far. Um, um. I would say school in general has been great. I've been a part of some great things um, like a Bible study and leadership, uh, leadership class. But I would say like, you know, I think what I'll remember most from high school is, is the cross country team and is uh, the guys that work with every day. Um, and it, I don't know how to say it other than it means everything, you know, um, it's what I think about, you know, I, I have dreams about it and I wake up in the morning, I think about it and, um, you know, it's everything that I pursue, I guess, um, is the team and, and, uh, yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> experience. Okay. So I know you have a lot of goals. I know you have a lot of things you want to accomplish. Obviously you want to win a state title. Yeah. But it's a it's a it's an easy question but it's also a complicated question at the same time but what what would you be satisfied with um as after this track season um i would say what i would be satisfied with um there's a few things i think as an individual um, I would like to go all state, um, and you know, one of my events, I'd like the four by eight team to go all state. I like, um, a lot to get a lot of guys qualifying for regionals and, um, a handful of guys qualifying for States. But I think what, what mostly is on my mind is like, you know, I'm trying to try to leave the team better than it found me. Right. Um, and try to set them up really well for next year and years beyond. So I think that's what is, is really going to stick with me. And that's kind of what I'm working towards of accomplishing. And I think the guys are doing great. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Luke, thanks so much for the time as always. And uh, yeah, let's have you on again. Uh, we'll have you on again to recap track. 
Okay. All right.